You're watching the West Coast Logging Channel. Come on inside and get some logs, that is. How's everybody doing today? Let's see if I can't get this thing a little bit straighter. There we go. Uh, yeah, excuse me, I'm wearing my work shirt. Uh, the end of this week, the boys were just kicking butt. A lot of short yarding. It was moving quick and whatnot. I didn't have a chance to uh, get the camera out and do any video. But, I mean, it was just go, go, go. So, and... As I've always said it's work and work comes first so I'm not gonna stop work to you know put a camera anyways but I had a really good idea because I have to put some tape fillers in uh, my tapes so I was gonna show you all how you do that and part of the reason is because uh, when I announced last week about the shirts somebody asked gosh darn it hang on Okay, there we go. Sorry, I just noticed the screen was all... Anyways, um, so yes, uh, the wife and boys uh, were going to surprise me with shirts and stuff, so it is a for sure thing this time. <laughs> they have been ordered, and they'll be in in a couple of weeks. Uh, when they get in, then I'll do a video, obviously, about pricing and, and all that. So, But they are coming. There's uh, we got two different color hoodies three different color shirts i do believe but anyways somebody said are you gonna have pocket tees pocket t-shirts and i said yes somebody else commented and said why is a pocket t-shirt so important and why do loggers you always see them with a shirt with a pocket on it and i'm going to show you one of the reasons why our tape fillers when we go to this can be a loaded time bomb <clears throat> You can unravel it and uh, fix it, but it's just a pain in the butt. So when you go to put a tape filler on, there is a little, let's see if we can get close enough here, little screw in there, set screw, you unscrew that, and there's the old tape, there's the end of it. So it sets in there, and then a little set screw holds it in. Well, as you can see, they break fairly easy you got to be pretty careful with them uh, anyway so this is a spring in here you put that in and you screw it down and then like right now I have it jammed um, the end of the tape jammed in there so it doesn't but anyways you unloosen these bolts and you can turn this and that tightens that that spring up so you put that in there and then you let it out and it goes starts wheeling on. Well, this thing will just blow up as soon as you take the tape off of it. So it, it's kind of a mess. And that's where the importance of the pocket tee comes in. So I'm all ready to go here. Got my jam nut set in there, or not nut, but anyways. So what I'm gonna do here real quickly, is take the tape off of this one carefully. Oops, sorry, Mama. I dropped tape on the floor. I get picked up. And I'm gonna put that in my pocket. Now you're gonna hear it. Here it go. It already blowed up a little bit. So make sure I got this set right. Pull my jam nut out. Oh, hear it? See, if that would have been out and open, it would have mess. Terrible mess. So, obviously, my, see, oh, see, and I took it out too soon. It's wanting to blow up already. Gosh darn it. But you get my point there, why it's important to have a, a pocket key. Now, see, it's, ah, it's not wanting to wind it all the way up. So, I'm going to hang on to it so that it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to unscrew these little screws. And this is all part of the bar wrench. Why it's so important, you know, why cutters always have, and then of course that screw is pinged over so I can't get in there, but they always have a, a bar wrench on them. You know, the necessary tools to, uh, 
do. Oh man. I must not have got one. That one. Got that one. Digging where the taters are. Okay, now see you hang on to that because that's gonna want to take off. Start turning that, see how that comes up when you want it. A little tighter. You want it to snap back at you. But you don't want it to snap back too fast because then it breaks the tape. Oh that's money right there. We're gonna give her another half turn. Just for shits and giggles. And then tighten that down. Get a couple of them tight so we know it's set. It's not gonna unravel itself. There we go, now we'll go to the other ones. So, yeah, that's the one of the, uh, if you watch the other, uh, you know, logging channels, just about every logger is going to have some kind of a t-shirt, long sleeve shirt, whatever. Your pockets are very important. There's so many little tools we carry. You know, just the bar wrench, tape fillers. You know, the tape fillers and stuff like that, they'll keep in their little, their little saw bag. Uh, you know, you don't just carry it around in your pocket all the time, but having that there... Like I say, you can do it without, but it can get very messy, very messy. And when they, if you let them go like that and they kink, and I'll show you this in just a second with the old one, they break really, really easily. You will take this old one thing and if it, if it, and that's what it does when it's, Unravel and it throws that kink in there. Well, as soon as it's got a kink in it, it breaks. So, that is the main reason behind the pocket tees and the hickory shirts with the teeth, uh, the pockets and whatnot. And it's just little tricks like that, you know. And I'm sure that there have been hundreds and hundreds of blowed up tapes before somebody figured that out. And something as simple as that it, it, it is so ingenious too you know you just put it in it plus it frees up your hands to do other things now what we use to stick the tape oh in the end of the log is just a traditional old horseshoe and you bend it I like to take mine after it's on and give it a little twist but you put it on you bend it and then I do not everybody you see this little plastic piece on the end here that helps keep it from snapping and breaking your end of your tape off a lot of guys me including will tape the first three or four inches of the tape up use black tape and then you know also this little holder here so that when you reach down it's sticking out you just you put your your thumb right on this and you just stick it right into the in the log. Now I have seen a lot of guys that you know when we went into the smaller size wood and you know you guys seen poor old Nigel there just bucking like crazy and I talked about running two and three tapes at a time and it, it can be done very easily and you know you, you do something you buck logs for year after year after year you get the feel you walk out you start you know you're you're knocking the limbs off you reach down look at your tape and you're most of the time those guys are going to be within a foot of their preferred length but what a lot of guys will do is take and now go to the, their preferred lengths like for us or back home anyways one of our preferred lengths is 16 foot 10 inches so they'll just take and just put a couple little wraps of black tape on 16, 10, 18, 10, 20, 32, 40, so on, so on. So they're going out the, and all they got to do is just reach down and run their hand on the tape. And when they feel 
you know, that little bump, they know they're at a preferred length. Well, you're going to know whether you're 16 or 20 feet, you know, just because you, it's just repetition. Anyway, so you're going out there and you know you're close to 32 feet and you feel tape. That's where I'm at. Bam, there's my 32 foot. I mark it. Just little things to help, you know. Especially when you're hand bucking. You got to have... You got to have your stuff together. Anyway, so yeah, this, there's just a spring in there. I'm not going to take it out because whew, this one I do believe is broke because it won't tighten up. Um, anyways, you, you loosen each one of these little screws and then turn this piece and that tightens the spring up. You, gotta, you have to hold this thing inside. Let me, I don't know how it feels. It might just need some WD-40. No, yeah, see that? But it turns as soon as I... Huh, I might... I might just throw some WD-40 on. Anyway, so... What do you want? Oh, it's on this way. Do you eat all my chicken and biscuits? You're grounded. <laughs> the rest of your life. I didn't get one of those, <laughs> butthead. <laughs> Kids. Anyway, so I hope that helps you guys understand a little more about our bucking tapes and whatnot. Um, they're expensive, really expensive. Like I say, simple little horseshoe nail is what they do make. A, there's a they make an end for it. it's plastic with a nail in it, but it's like four bucks, and when you can get a horseshoe nail for 22 cent that's what most guys you know simple uh so yeah like i say the shirts and the hoodies are for sure thing uh the the family was gonna surprise them with me surprise me with them oh i got it right so they'll be here i do believe the 8th of next month um and then when they get in well i'll do a video for sure on pricing and all that uh I hope everybody has a wonderful Sunday. Summer, I hate to see you go, but there's a really nice, big old fat ham hock over there that's cooking in beans that is very well overdue. I'm ready. So, stay safe, friends. Get logs. Come on. Stay safe, boys. Get logs. Come on.